wish to show you how to measure the distance to the sun according to this ancient uh, Chinese work over here which is written um, more than 2000 years ago so this is part of my series of videos about the role of geographical determinism in the history of trigonometry so the particular geographical factors that I shall uh, associate with this proof are the following the first the size of the Chinese Empire is very massive on a historical scale I know at this time it was uh, certainly commanded a, an enormous land mass uh, at its disposal as we shall see that is also a crucial ingredient in fact of the particular mathematical details of the measurement of distance to the Sun so that's geographical ingredient number one and number two is bamboos the bamboo uh, trees which grow there in China they are uh, mathematically speaking uh, quite ideally suited it's almost like trigonometry growing out of the ground so to speak it's a it's a, s a straight stick standing perpendicular to the ground so which makes it very suited for uh, for trigonometrical uh, purposes in many in many in many ways so here I'm going to show you how to determine the distance to the Sun so here we here we are in ancient China now and over there is the red dot is the Sun and here I have my bamboo stick you can tell standing perpendicular to the ground there like bamboos do so what I have uh, created then is uh, I'm considering the ray the red ray of light coming from the Sun here casting a certain amount of shadow here the green part of the bamboo uh, stick so I can measure the size of the bamboo stick here and I can measure the size of its shadow obviously but then you see I know so I know that little triangle there that has the bamboo in it but then you see that I have drawn a similar triangle which is uh, much larger which has the distance to the Sun as one of its sides the dashed side over here so uh, then in order to determine this dashed length the distance from the Earth to the Sun really what I need to do then is to measure the the long green base of that uh, triangle because then I have true similarity I can then uh, by similar triangles I can then compute the dashed one so that's uh, the idea of the proof here but uh, the, uh, we see so we see that the bamboos are essential for creating the little similar triangle but also the size of the empire is very essential also because for the proof to work you have to walk all the way to that point or at the end of the green stretch here which has to be a point you have to walk and walk and walk until you are directly below the Sun until the Sun is perpendicularly above your head so that could be very far indeed we know recall Eratosthenes did similar thing and he had to work walk 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 you know across uh, most of Egypt before he reached that point from from Alexandria before he reached a point perpendicularly below the Sun so indeed it's a good thing that China is a massive uh, empire here so that you can indeed walk this enormous distance that you need to determine uh, the the base of the triangle so that you can complete the calculation and uh, in fact the work itself it gives these particular numbers here for the for the length supposedly we don't or you may not know what uh, this uh, unit of measurement Li uh, represents how, how, how many w meters or whatever is that but who cares really uh, because you can tell anyway that the numbers are obviously uh, blatantly unrealistic this 60,000 is uh, evidently the distance you can walk within China itself uh, that's the, the green one and then the distance to the Sun turns out to be only 80,000 so only slightly more so obviously that uh, is nowhere near the accurate value but uh, in it it's also clear though that the, this book is meant as a, uh, uh, a textbook on mathematical techniques uh, showing the use of right angles uh, right angle triangles similar triangles and these kinds of techniques so it's not really meant to be an accurate investigation of distance to the Sun rather it's just meant to teach the basic mathematical techniques to pupils and uh, that indeed is why it has these unrealistic numbers you, you it's, it makes a simple Pythagorean triple really you know uh, three three four five is the classic Pythagorean triple and if you double it then you get six eight ten and multiply by a thousand you get so this is a very simple Pythagorean so obviously the text the author here this text shows these numbers for the sake of having nice round numbers for the for the student to work with and not 
as uh, an attempt to make an actual accurate measurement of distance to the sun. But nevertheless, it's interesting that the method is there and that it reflects these two uh, unique geographical circumstances of, th of the Chinese Empire at this time. In fact, the proof also goes further in this regard by also using the bamboo once again essential property of the bamboo is also that it's empty uh, hollow you can use it as a sighting tube if you cut off a piece of uh, one of bamboo stem you it's hollow so you can use it to sight out the sun and that you get yourself your bamboo in such a hold it in such a way that it precisely contains the sun uh, you know so that they the sun is not bigger nor smaller than the opening that you can see of the, the bamboo tube and then uh, you so you hold the thing up like that and then um, in, in in this case we can use this to determine the size of the sun because we know these green lengths over here so we know the the the, the length and the width of the bamboo tube itself obviously we can just measure that and then also we know the distance from the from our, s our eye to the sun because that was determined on the previous slide with those other triangles set up. So that's already determined and there we have a similar triangle situation here where we can determine the size of the sun uh, using the similar similarity. So that once again we have used the essential uh, provisions of the land uh, for as an ingredient to our calculation, in this case the bamboo. So thank you.